today we are playing on every stumble guys map using the brand new volleyball special emote let's hop into the first map all right game one we are starting out on block dash and as you can see this is the new volleyball so the way it works is essentially you can do a dive and you go like twice the normal speed it's literally insane also if you're wondering if normal emotes still affect you like punch and kick they do i will say very hard to control but on race maps it will be perfect okay for map number two we are going to be playing abduction avenue let's see if we can win cleanly all right honestly the ball seems like it actually hurt me more than it helped there i'm still getting used to how it all works oh my goodness but whoa okay we fall completely off the map put us through nice Ooh. Ooh. okay okay wait that was way more effective Oh, and we're just rolling to the finish. That was pretty useful. All right, next up is Rush Hour. And this is going to be one of the least useful maps, I imagine. Because the bounciness is just gonna throw you off so immediately here are my first thoughts if you're playing on a race map it's like the best of the best but if you're playing on elimination map just unequip it we might have to go back on the block dash and see if there's actual use i don't know that it's all that great we're playing over under next gonna jump activate it and then dive perfect now we roll jump activate oh see like that is so good that is so good Ooh, perfect. But like... There's gonna be so many new bugs. Oh my goodness, there's gonna be so many new bugs. We're gonna qualify, and on to the next one. Next up, we are playing one of the super maps, and we're gonna see how it impacts the ball. Do you go faster? Uh, I can't tell. Maybe a little bit. Oh my goodness, yeah, you do and we're through next up we got tile fall and this is going to be interesting if it activates more than the normal amount of tiles so we're going to activate it roll oh oh wait no is it broken oh it's broken it's actually broken whoa you can just go across the entire thing this game is so pay to win <laughs> okay to prove that it's busted we're gonna do it once more you literally just get to like right here and boom you didn't activate a single tile look at that that is crazy is it going to be useful on the treasure island map obviously it's going to be annoying to control the fact that you could dive across so much more ground is going to be absolutely Oh my goodness, look at that. For events, this emote is crazy, dude. Like, literally, you can just roll around the entire map collecting all the coins you wanted. Well, let's go on to the next one since there's really not much more to be said about this map. All right, next up, we got Bombardment. And again, there's really not too much use on this sort of map. Maybe to, like, get away from someone chasing you. Really not much to be said. I guess we could try to win in ball form. That would be an interesting clip for sure. But there's really no advantage to doing that the one thing i want to try on bot bash is mid air from getting sent can you recover so i'm gonna try to get absolutely sent in the air and then launch myself using the emote gotta time this perfectly uh no burrito bonanza is next and i feel like this one's gonna be obvious and this is going to be the one of the best maps for the new emote uh can it send me Hello? I'm a bad example on how to use it. Uh, we're fine. Maybe? Maybe? Oh my goodness. The bounciness. The bounciness. Okay, we're good. Let's just try to skip the entire thing. Bad idea. The uncontrollability is wild. Okay. Nice. Nope. Why didn't it let me jump there? Okay, I literally about to lose. Let's try it again. Perfect. So my question for Honey Drop, is it going to act in similar fashion to the tile fall? So far, it doesn't look that way. Yep, it activates on all of them. For those wondering, if you bounce higher, the further you drop, it does not work like that. That would be cool, though. That would be very cool. We got Hot Wheels Hustle next. There's not too much of this level that would actually be useful for the emote. Uh, but I'm starting to see why you might not think this emote is that great let's see if we get like super high oh hold on 
New tech. I think this is a new speed run method. Hold on. Let me try something. Uh, you slide off. On to the next map. This is one that I'm actually so curious about. How does low gravity impact it? See, look. I'm on one end of the map, and boom. Across the entire thing. Oh, my. Okay, we're back on block dash, and I want to try a different tech. It could be used if you're, like, out here and then just, like, need to recover back. I don't know. Like I was saying, I want to get better at clutching. Let's see if the volleyball helped. So right there, it seemed fine. Okay, let's try it once more. Jump. Activate. I think it helps. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if it looks like it's helping. We got super paint slide next, and this has so much space. That you would think it would be perfect for it. Kind of messed up there. All right, get some speed. I don't know. The super maps besides super slide is kind of questionable. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's faster on that map. If on space drop, the new emote was super useful, this map should be just as insane. And you can already tell. The answer is yes, but it's so impossible to control. Activate, dive. Okay. Bro, it's impossible to control. I know I'm just bad, and this is my, like, second time using the emote, but my goodness. Next up, we got Stumble Cove, and since there are a bunch of jumps, it feels like the volleyball is not optimal. You know, maybe you just go to the bottom, activate it, and then just skim across and disregard everything else. Okay, I take that back. This is really good for the volleyball. Yeah, I... Ooh. I was going to say it's really good. And then it sends me backwards. Uh, you have to play it perfectly. Laser Tracer is next. And if I had to guess, this is going to be one of the worst. Like, I don't know why you would want the bounciness. Unless you could, like, single bounce over it. I don't know. Something like that. You could, like, little hops over it. But, like, then it just... Uh, I don't know, dude. Elimination maps are not the play with this one. Icy Heights is next. And I want to see if you could do the skips way easier. And it seems like it. Maybe. I, I don't know. That was pretty flawless there. The slipperiness of the ice is kind of annoying. Because I feel like you go into that sliding animation when you go in this ball. But I'm noticing that going down that hill is way quicker. I think. Uh, but you can't make it up. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. It's sometimes useful, sometimes not. Speaking of going up hills, we are now doing cannon climb. If I struggled on that little bit on icy heights, I can only imagine this is going to go terribly. So, yep. It doesn't work at all uphill. Oh, wait. Hold on. Maybe. Let's try doing the skip. Okay, that's wait easier sometimes this emote just feels like a crutch and then sometimes it just feels like the absolute worst thing for jungle roll specifically i'm just curious about the mud the mud goes away oh that's broken okay this is one where it's just absolutely a no-brainer now on the log itself is it a different story uh no you go way faster i'm just gonna say it is one of the best ones for the emote like look at that you don't have to wait anymore oh my god i already can tell people are gonna be mad at this one lost temple is next if it's anything like the last map lost temple is going to be amazing too right off the bat though kind of struggling that's not the emote's fault let's see can we clear this entire thing all right activate oh wow okay yep it's good it's just those big gaps that definitely want the emote for. But, like, stuff like this, I would not be touching it. And, uh, we're through. Lava Rush is another one that I think could be useful. Again, one wrong move and you're just in the lava. So you're playing with fire, quite literally. I am getting used to the emote slowly but surely. Uh, but basically... Never mind. Let's just go on to the next one. Cannonball Chaos is next, and I can't imagine this one's going to be any different from the last. Hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm expecting it to send me up, and maybe I can dive. Hold on. Nope. Doesn't send me flying. All right. This one's kind of lame. Let's go on to the next one. This is going to be the new world record on Super Slide. Look at that. Skip the entire beginning. Come up here. Activate it once more once we get in the water. And now we're rolling. Activate it right in time 
again here. And we can skip this part if we time it. Perfect. And across. Now, this is where it gets crazy. Boom. Oh, oh my. No. Ah, uh, okay. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want me to do a part two and show off the emote even more, I would definitely be down to do so. Don't forget to use code Baby Yoda in the item shop, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.